Mercado Libre and Amazon are currently two of the favorite stocks in the e-commerce market. Investors consider them both as starter stocks for their investment portfolios. How is this possible, even when they both exist and operate as similar businesses with different target markets? Thank you very much for clicking on this video and welcome to our channel. Before we begin with what Mercado Libre is and how it compares with Amazon, do us a favor and click on the subscribe button, the thumbs up button, and also the bell icon to get notified about our new videos. In the world of e-commerce, especially in developed countries, Amazon holds the title of the king of the e-commerce world. But Mercado Libre is not lagging behind either, as they have used approaches to place themselves at the heart of Latin America, earning themselves the title of the Amazon of Latin America. But what is Mercado Libre and how has it come this far? Continue watching this video to find out the answer to this question and know how it is compared to Amazon. What is Mercado Libre? In Latin America, including countries like Brazil, Chile, Mexico, and Argentina, Mercado Libre is the biggest e-commerce and payment ecosystem. It enables its users to be able to make payments and sell in better and easier ways. Their sole purpose is democratizing the e-commerce and payment ecosystem in Latin America. Mercado Libre is currently present in 18 countries in Latin America, including Venezuela, Peru, Colombia, Chile, Brazil, Mexico, Argentina, and others. Based on their page views, Mercado Libre are the leaders in these countries' markets. This could be because Mercado Libre gives its users robust e-commerce and payment services through their platform. True, the Mercado Libre payment services and the company's platform do not only foster social mobility and entrepreneurship, but contribute to the developing and growing online commerce community in Latin America. They have grown to satisfy about, if not over, 600 million people in a region with the fastest growing penetration rate of the internet in the world. The Mercado Libre main focus is giving compelling technological and commercial solutions, which is aimed at addressing the distinctive geographical and cultural challenge of operating e-commerce and payment platforms in Latin America. It also offers a variety of services for its users. Some of these services are as follows. Mercado Libre Marketplace One of the important services Mercado Libre offers to its customers is a fully automated, user-friendly, and topically arranged online trading platform and marketplace. It contains and offers online shoppers a different assortment of items to buy, and most of these items are otherwise more expensive and difficult to get from traditional retailers or wholesalers. The majority of the Mercado Libre marketplace listing is new products, about 98% of them are. So it gives online sellers the ability to sell their wares, and online shoppers the ability to purchase from the largest and easiest online marketplace in all of Latin America, whether they are individuals or businesses. Shipping and Logistic Services Mercado Libre offers shipping solutions to its users that utilizes the marketplace for their online shopping. It is called the Mercado Envios Shipping Services, and it is available in Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, Chile, Mexico, and even Uruguay. Through the integration of local carriers, the Mercado Envios Shipping Services achieve economies of scale. It also achieves this through their state-of-the-art warehousing services that is underlain by the proprietary technology of Mercado Libre. This technology helps to drive down costs for shipping and, most importantly, eliminates the friction that may develop between buyers and sellers. The Mercado Envios Shipping Services and Logistic Network is composed mainly of four picking types. Each picking type has the special ability to improve the user experience as well as achieve cost efficiency. The picking types are fulfilled by Mercado Libre, cross-ducking, dropshipping, and flex. Payment Services and Solution the next valuable service that Mercado Libre offers to its users is their payment services and solution. At inception, this payment structure, called the Mercado Pago, was developed and designed to complement the Mercado Libre marketplace. It was designed to facilitate transactions between buyers and sellers. This soon grew to achieve democratization of financial inclusion and payments. Mercado Pago began allowing Mercado customers to easily, promptly, and securely receive and send payment. These services can be utilized whether online or offline. It is available in Chile, Colombia, Peru, Uruguay, and Mexico. 
To fully understand the Mercado Pago payment solution, you need to understand the various components that make up this payment solution. There are six in number. The first is the mobile point of sale that allows the processing of physical debits and credit cards. The second is the digital wallet that allows QR payments. Thirdly, we have the Mercado Fondo that manages assets and investments. Then there are the merchant services for internet-based payment and checkout. This is followed by the prepaid card and the Mercado Credits, which gives users access to credits. These are not all the services of Mercado Libre. There are many more. There is an advertising service that allows users to promote goods, brands, or services in the Mercado Libre marketplaces. There are also classified services that allow the users to list their offerings related to vessels, vehicles, real estate, aircraft, and other services that are not on the Mercado Libre marketplace and platform. All the services of Mercado Libre are quite extraordinary, but when compared side by side with Amazon, the king of e-commerce, are there any similarities and differences? Sure there are, and you will find them shortly. Similarities and Differences Between Mercado Libre and Amazon It is true that these two companies, Mercado Libre and Amazon, can be considered pioneers of e-commerce that have worked hard to make e-retailing a profitable and viable option of shopping for many. Initially, Amazon brought its services to North America and from there to other countries. It also moved to Latin America but experienced a lot of competitive challenges and disadvantages. One of such was that the majority of Latin Americans use cash regularly, and a large percentage of those do not own a credit card or a bank account. This was a big challenge to e-sellers relying on cashless payment. Mercado Libre addressed this challenge by developing and designing its payment services and solution, the Mercado Pago. The main purpose was to democratize access to money and financial services within the Mercado ecosystem but it has soon overgrown and expanded to help other companies facilitate cashless e-commerce services. This growth and expansion made the company a fintech company as well as an e-commerce platform. There might be a few similarities between the two giant e-commerce companies, but there are a lot of differences. One major difference between Amazon and Mercado Libre is in their e-commerce business model. While Amazon offers a first-party and third-party e-commerce approach in addition to their subscription services and other services, Mercado Libre only offers third-party e-commerce businesses and fintech services. Other differences can be seen in their operating margin, source of economic growth, stock valuation, price actions, and trend analysis. And as expected, Amazon is leading all the way. What do you think? Is Mercado Libre becoming the new Amazon? And how long is it going to take? Do not hesitate to share your opinions, thoughts, and experiences in the comments section below. Also, subscribe to our channel if you like this video and click on the bell icon for more engaging content like this. Check out our other videos coming up right now on your screen.